Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. Let's talk about cataclysmic events. Uh, we haven't touched upon it really on this episode. Like we've we've just kind of covered the brushed. yeah brushed upon it. Uh, let's do a deep dive into it a little bit. Uh, is it an area of history and archaeology that fascinates you? Uh, is it an area of history that more people should get to know about? Because when I'm thinking of history as a subject. it's great to study what happened in the last 100 years but that's literally a microsecond on the earth's timeline why aren't we spoken to more about meteor showers why aren't we spoken to more about earthquakes you know tidal waves uh these kind of cataclysmic events noah's ark manu uh gilgamesh mm-hmm. gilgamesh, uh, gilgamesh like all all these big cataclysmic events that cultures speak about When you're talking about ancient cultures passing on messages, cataclysm is one of the big messages constantly passed on. That listen, be aware of nature's fury. Don't right. be a bad person. Right. Nature will fight back. Uh, plagues, etc., etc. Right. What do you make of all this, sir? What do you make of the apocalypse or the repeated apocalypse that you, the human race, has constantly seen? So I believe, like it has always been there. Uh, the cycle again, the spiral. I get it back. The cycle mm. has always been there. so it's like someone who's making a movie you know who who says okay you played your part it's time to go the dinosaur is gone you know uh human you know semi humans come in okay your your part's done time to go you know come enter human beings so uh, you know now how much we live is also up to us because we are also the catalyst in that cataclysmic <laughs> event really? yes because we contribute with the way we are abusing it's also a message to the future yeah so whether a glorious period existed before we won't be able to say and this will be the same like maybe maybe 1000 5000 whenever we are done you know someone would sit probably in a podcast you know like this and would say did they have did they even know what is a podcast so it's a possibility that it doesn't need to come from outside we could be the authors are of our own destinies of our own you know going demise. into the huh? yes. of our own demise yes. we, we were we were fantastic at that in fact we we are doing a great job in fact now so one thing is there like uh, so such events whether it's a volcanic we, we could see we can't go or do away with nature's fury or it's not really in fury it's just adjustments i would call it like you know just adjustments mm. you know you're moving mountains like you're just piling on things here so i just move a muscle and get it in its rightful place what are you polluting let me just you know so it's just nature saying stop it please like you know you don't get it stop it you know so what we need to do is first of all take note of the the message which she's trying to give us and also focus on the bigger picture of what happened like if you can do something in that area like asteroids probably elements coming from we are doing so much research on elements or planets outside what are we doing about our shield mm, to protect the earth absolutely why are we not thinking about a uh, element which could repel at least some of these why are we why are we not talking about technologies like that mm. we talk about levitation we talk about you know so many other technologies you know but why are we not talking about you know studying these elements which are so close to us and having at least a barrier a wall we don't have a wall today yeah. and also keep in mind that our ancestors have constantly given us messages about comets uh, and how absolutely. it's not a it absolutely. may not be a positive sign right so uh, it, it doesn't need to be vol- uh, a volcanic uh, eruption or a gas wave from volcanoes or a volcanic shower it doesn't need to be a you know any anything from me what are we doing about such things you know so from the in we should really think about really uh, scientific not political bodies scientific bodies which really like think about such things and do something about talk conferences high tea is okay mm. but I, i think we need to go beyond that and do something about such things mm. and this is the need of the r because one a multi pronged approach really if you are asking me about the message like what to a multi pronged approach wherein like at least we sh- we stop the abuse abuse of nature natural resources everything nature in fact we align ourselves to her uh, goals we align ourselves to her rules and you mm. know recommendations mm. we have that in mind we start with that apart from that we have a study of what can be our wall our first 
level or first layer of defense mm. which is very possible technologically speaking like which uh, is which is if we can build a sun i, I wouldn't like to name a country <laughs> uh, but we, which can supply sources of energy why yeah. can't we do this i highly recommend that the listeners check out randall carlson's episodes with joe rogan he's again science back research back guy he's i think his field of interest when it comes to history is ancient human history and cataclysmic events and he knows about it like no other human being that i've come across at least and he's done a bunch of episodes with joe rogan it's okay. incredible to listen to them he says that technologically speaking we're about 10 years away from creating a technology that can even go on asteroids and mine elements because asteroids also contain a lot of minerals that yes. can be mined yes. and some of them are huge some of them are as wide as like 100 kilometers yes. which is massive absolutely imagine a 100 kilometer asteroid hitting the earth people underestimate what that can do to the human race if it could wipe out dinosaurs right. which are so tough so durable we, what are we yeah and we also had a very priceless uh, uh, asteroid full of uh, uh, you know priceless platinum gold mm. uh, we just passed mm. so apart from other things so i am saying utilize this for our own level of defense layer of defense i would say yeah otherwise you know we'll be one of those civilizations dinosaurs. that just ended yeah and all our uh remains including internet wires including plastic everything is going to go away yes the only thing that we'll be left with are the pyramids and the sphinx and somewhere in the year 5500 someone will be saying what do you think the pyramids mean <laughs> <laughs> what do what do you think the sphinx means <laughs> true. true that's a great note that's a great note yes thanks for watching make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you 